you can see that a lot of other players do not feel safe in the West Indies team. That's where rebellion come from. That's why you would see the Shimra at my half the world the choose to miss a flight. If the team felt like a team, somebody on the team would have reached out to him to make sure that he's early. That's how team work. When one person is missing, everybody is missing. They would be, they would, somebody would be finding him. That's how a team work. This is not a team. That was never a team. Welcome again to Red the Narrative. Where it's okay to be curious. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And drop a comment. And for those of us who is living under a rock. Yes. The West Indies. The winningest T20 team. In T20 history. T20 World Cup history. They dropped out. And just taking a look. Back at some of the wonderful moments we actually I saw, and I will put a picture up. I saw that the West Indies in 2012 and 2016 they won two T20 World Cups. So, after the last four T20 World Cups, the West Indies won two of them, and they did not qualify for this round. They did not qualify with the, the, the most successful. T20 team in the history of T20 World Cup did not qualify for the T20 World Cup. And you know what happened in those two T20 finals? Marlon Samuels scored 78 of 56 balls and 85 of 66 balls. This is a big match player. A player that showed up when it matters most. And you know what? He was not even the best player for the West Indies at the time. And this player showed up in the finals. To win. And become champions. So the real champions. And you know what was their motivation. When we watch um, the interview with Dwayne Bravo. The motivation was to win. Against the management. Because the management of the West Indies team. Were oppressing them. In other words, the management of the of the West Indies team, they win in spite of the bad management. So they went out there and they do it even though the management was going against them. This was do this was an interview that Dwayne Bravo did on the zone, Sports Max Zone. He did that immediately after the World Cup. They won the T20 World Cup because they were motivated. By the poor management. Not because they were inspired by management. They were motivated by the poor management. To go out there and do what need to be done. And guess what? The West Indies team had players. No. The West Indies team have players like. Chris Gale. Dwayne Bravo. Darren Sammy. Andre Russell. Marlon Samuels. Kiran Pollard. Players that would have on any day. Take the match away from any opponent. Now, the West Indies right now have players who will be able to score a 50, a 60, a 100 even. But they cannot take the match from anybody because they cannot play real cricket. They get lucky on a day. Right? Now, if you're at um, Verinda Sewag, one of cricket legends, he has similar accolades to Chris Gale. Similar. And he's one of India's best players. He has a he has double century twice. He has some very fast fifties, and he he did great things in the cricketing world. Varinda Sewag said, "Happy to see Zimbabwe qualifying, but such a disappointment to not have West Indies in the main round. Winner of two of the last four events and not qualifying this time. Such a pity. So." India to face Pakistan, Netherlands, South Africa, Bangladesh, and Zimbabwe in the league stages. The, he was literally highlighting the path that India must take to the finals. But he went a step further and he highlighted that the West Indies team is important to him. The West Indies team is a team that if you are going to become double champion, you would love to beat the West Indies on your way to becoming 
double champion. But the West Indies team who won the T20 World Cup twice in the last four events did not qualify. Such a pity. And that's exactly what he said. It is such a pity. And yes, Ricky Ponting didn't even hold back. Ricky Ponting went as far as to say it's a disgrace to see West Indies exit so early while we are rooting for the smaller teams. Yes, the Zimbabwe's of the world and the Ireland of the world, the UAE of the world, the Netherlands of the world, we are rooting for them to make it into the big on the big stage. But West Indies is traditional T20 cricket team, traditional ICC partner and they failed miserably and when they had the players who had the passion and who have the respect of the world who had experience it was the West Indies management that they were fighting against they were fighting they were they rallied for a cause to win despite the West Indies management lack of preparation they they win in spite of everything not because they were inspired just think about that no the team that we have with those tape those players are not big personalities to the point where they would go against or be motivated to do something special in spite of the management situation they just went along with the management situation. They listened to what was said. They listened to the instruction. They went out there and believed that they can become champion because they, are, they were champions in the last four events. They were champion in the last four events because of players like Chris Gale, captain like Darren Sammy, players like du Duane Bravo, Andre Russell, and yes, Two man of the match performance in the finals from the icon Marlon Samuels and we can and anybody who sees and hear these figures and feel any kind of disappointment within themselves it says a lot about where your affiliation like these are talented players who are still capable of playing it big these are mentors who could have been there for the team right now explaining to the team helping them to develop confidence and just building um, rapport but no these players they got a honorary discharge from the West Indies team and because of that you can see that a lot of other players do not feel safe in the West Indies team that's where rebellion come from that's why you would see the Shimra at my of the world they choose to miss a flight to Australia if the team felt like a team somebody on the team would have reached out to him to make sure that he's early that's how teamwork when one person is missing everybody is missing they would be they would somebody would be finding him that's how a teamwork this is not a team that was never a team look at the West Indies players having a jolly good time dancing being happy, holding on to their trophy and wearing a medal around their neck and cementing their names in the history of T20 cricket. That is a team. A team that decided that they are going to win in spite of the management. And anybody tell me that it is not true, I will find that video. And I will, actually I'm going to link the video that I, I made. To, uh, to this one where Duane Bravo said what inspired the West Indies team to win was the poor management they wanted to win in spite of everything drop a comment down below rewrite the narrative like share and subscribe